So the last lesson we looked into the past, basically looked at how and where the universe has come from. Uh, and in a nutshell, that it all started as a very, very small singularity around about 14 billion years ago. And this is all known as the Big Bang Theory. So just to recap the three main pieces of evidence for Big Bang Theory, the universe is expanding. If it's getting bigger, it must have been smaller in the past. And if we literally, if we were to stop the tape and rewind the history of the universe, it would go back to 14 billion years ago being at a tiny, infinitely dense singular point in space. Okay. Second bit, microwave cosmic, uh, the cosmic microwave background radiation. All right. That's that. That was uh, that, that that was first discovered in the 1960s. That's very, very, very strong evidence for Big Bang Theory. And finally, there's so much hydrogen and helium in the universe. Okay. It's pretty much, it's, it's 98% by mass. And if you remember that hydrogen and helium atoms are the smallest atoms anyway by mass, it just means that, that, that much, much more than 98% of the atoms in the universe are hydrogen and helium. So there's so much hydrogen and helium in the universe. And if so that fits perfectly, the Big Bang Theory. Anyway, let's have a look into the future. That's what this final lesson is all about. So what's going to happen to the universe in the distant future then? Well, the quick answer is we don't know. We don't, we, we, we don't, we don't know for sure, but we have basically three quite realistic scenarios on our hands. So no question, the universe is getting bigger. Okay. Um, but what's slowing it down? What, what's, what's the force that's going to be slowing down the expansion, do you think? Okay. Well, you'd be right in thinking, what well, the gravity. So if you've got the universe as a whole, okay, there's going to be gravity pulling the universe back towards the center, isn't there? because there's so much matter in the universe, it's going to have quite a strong gravitational pull. So that's going to be the force which is going to be opposing the expansion of the universe. So it would, logic would dictate that that would slow down the expansion of the universe. Okay, so that's this scenario. I'll, I'll just talk about this one first. Now, if, if, the, if the force of gravity from the universe is strong enough, then it will slow down the expansion stop the expansion and then make the universe contract in on itself and get smaller and smaller and smaller because the force of gravity, the weight of the universe literally pulls it back in on itself. And then we end up in the far distant future with all the matter in the universe being compressed into that singularity again. And that scenario is called the big crunch. Okay, so quite an interesting uh, scenario there. Um, we've got two other scenarios, right? There's the, the flat universe. This is where the universe keeps expanding, but the expansion slows down due to gravity, but the, but the universe will keep expanding into the future. So it will keep expanding forever. Now, because of that, the universe, all the matter and energy in the universe will, will start to spread out. And if it gets spread out, the universe will cool down and eventually be inhospitable for life to occur. Okay. That's called the big freeze, that one. Okay. The big freeze where basically in the far distant future, the, the universe expanded so much that the, uh, that yeah, like life cannot be supported. Another interesting scenario, but this is my favorite if the expansion of the universe is so fast, if the expansion speeds up and that universe gets so big, but the important thing, if, if, the, if the rate of expansion gets so vast, then matter itself cannot be held together and it literally rips apart all the galaxies, all the stars, and will eventually rip apart all the atoms and eventually rip apart the fabric of space-time itself. Okay, now that's called the big rip. So there's our third scenario. Uh, and we can kind of like graph it. So here's, here's, here's a nice graph for these three three possible outcomes. Okay, um, so if we were to plot a graph of 
basically the size of the universe, radius of the universe against time. Okay. Now that's is obviously the, the big bang. That's not really open to question. Okay. Um, the universe started as a, as a tiny singularity. Now, if it was a, the first one I mentioned, the closed universe, then it would expand. It would stop expanding and then contract in on itself. Now you, this is where you've got your big crunch. The flat universe, well, it would still, it would keep expanding, keep expanding, keep expanding, but the expansion will slow, but it will keep expanding forever. And then the last one I mentioned, the open universe, this is where the expansion keeps, keeps, keep, keeps getting faster and faster and faster. Okay. Now, here's an interesting question. What do we see? Okay. We can't see into the future, but we can measure the rate of the universe's expansion. Now, this is where it gets really interesting. In the quite recent past, astronomers have measured the expansion of the universe and they, they have measured that the expansion is, wait for it, actually accelerating. Okay, the expansion is not slowing down, that force of gravity pulling the universe towards the center is not slowing down the rate of expansion. The rate of expansion appears to be speeding up. Now, this came as a huge surprise to the scientific community quite recently. Okay, uh, now th this poses more questions. The beauty of this, this topic, in my opinion, cosmology is that there's so much that's not been answered. That's what makes it so much more interesting. We just don't know so much, there's so much we don't know about the universe. And this is one of the big, big, big questions. One of the big hot topics at the moment is if the expansion of the universe is actually speeding up, what's making it speed up? Okay. There must be a force pushing the universe outwards. Now that force, okay, it's kind of like an anti-gravity, that force was given a name and it's called dark energy. So this is one of the, one of the hottest topics in cosmology at the moment. The universe is getting bigger, but it's getting bigger at a faster rate. So what is it that is pushing the universe out? Now the idea is there's something called dark energy. Now, what dark energy is, no, is, is anybody's guess at the moment. Okay. We have absolutely no idea, but there's something there, which, which, which must be making the acceleration of the universe speed up. Okay. So astronomers are eagerly searching for ideas, eagerly searching for evidence as to what dark energy could be. And we don't even know whether dark energy is constant, whether it will increase or whether it will decrease. Yeah, maybe dark energy will decrease over time and the expansion rate of the universe will slow down again. We just don't know. But at the moment, the latest observations, the latest measurements suggest that the, the expansion rate of the universe is actually accelerating, which is quite fascinating. Anyway, there's your three scenarios for the ultimate fate for the universe, okay? Which one would be your favorite? Thank you very much.